I'm gonna show you what I order at a restaurant while on keto, so stay tuned. everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Lydia if you're new here I have been on a keto weight loss journey for two and a half years I am on my quest my mission to lose a hundred pounds and I am teetering around the 90 pound mark so I'm getting closer and closer to that major milestone uh, so if you want to see me reach my goals make sure to stick around one of the hardest or I should say one of the biggest challenges that somebody on a weight loss journey has to face is when they go out to eat and not knowing what to order. We are gonna take you out at a restaurant with us. I'm gonna show you the menu and I'm gonna show you why I would order something over something else. So check it out. So we ended up at Old Steakhouse Company. It looks like it's a dinner menu, but it is 225. So looking at these boneless wings, I would probably not get because it would be breaded, mozzarella sticks breaded, hand breaded, probably none of these. Order of eight poppers filled with chicken breast, honey, honey cured ham and melted. I'm sure it's breaded and I'm sure that ham has sugar. The salads, I usually get the steak avocado salad because it has everything that is keto friendly. I, they have the chicken avocado salad. I wouldn't do the oranges. Uh, they have salmon avocado that would work. All right, so here is the lunch menu and today's special. It's a Thursday, so it's Mama's Meatloaf. So obviously we can't get that today. They do have salads. They have burgers. You could do a burger without the bun and they've got all the southern fried favorites chicken fried favorites dinner steaks steak oh the chicken bel air i want to say i've had because it's topped with melted swiss cheese and avocado and then they also have chicken and mushrooms boneless skinless chicken breast smothered in mushrooms and melted swiss cheese is also another good option of course you can always go straight for the steaks and do ribeyes t-bones new york strips they have a lot of different options here uh, we won't do the chicken tenders, of course, or the honey Dijon chicken, or the pasta, but they do have bone-in pork chops. Uh, probably not the baby back ribs because of the barbecue sauce. And the sides you can do is like a house salad, asparagus for the extra dollar, green beans, a Caesar salad, steamed broccoli, and they've got seafood options. I would do the mahi-mahi or the grilled salmon, not the fried fish or shrimp, obviously. And they have this uh, ahi tuna. None of these, I would assume, because <laughs> this has the brown gravy. This is seasoned in flour. And this is, of course, uh, breaded. And then the burgers with buns and fries, I would skip or I would order maybe the bacon cheeseburger and not eat the bun and maybe sub the steak fries for something else. So looking at all of this, I'm not exactly sure <laughs> what I want. We are so hungry, but obviously looking at this list of appetizers, none of these are going to work. So we're going to skip today. I'm looking at the salads as the possible entree. I always get the steak avocado salad because it is so good, but there's so many great options. And then looking at all of the steaks, if it was dinner time and not lunch, I think we would be opting for one of the steaks. Uh, of course, the pork chops I have tried, and also the chicken bel air and chicken and mushrooms are really good. Now for the sides. The sides are actually really good options. One of the things that I have done in the past with my steak is I have ordered 
the broccoli, the steamed broccoli, but have loaded it like they would a baked potato. So they would put the cheese and the butter and the bacon and the sour cream. I mean, it adds a lot of other ca calories and fat, but it makes it so, so good. Now, I don't normally order seafood at restaurants. I have to be in the mood. And the same thing for burgers. I have to be in the mood for a burger. Uh, but if I do get it, I would get it without the bun and sub the fries for usually like a side salad with no crouton. My old self would be all about this chicken fried steak, to be honest with you. <laughs> but this is my new self, and my new self is having lunch at a steak restaurant, and I have a little bit of an idea of what I'm going to get. What are you going to order, babe? I'm going to order the steak avocado salad okay. with Thousand Island. With Thousand Island. Now, is Thousand Island keto? Probably not. It is not. But our water is. <laughs> I, got, I got tea. Oh, my water is. He got what? Sweet tea? No, this is half and half. Half, half sweet, half unsweet. The other drinks on here were all these beers, which we are not taking today. But if you were to do one, I would say maybe the Michelob Ultra or any of the light beers. I think Miller Lite is also really low in carbs as well. If you do, if you allow yourself diet, you could do Diet Coke, water, coffee, depending on how you sweeten it. I used to carry my sweeteners with me. Wines, if you're gonna do wine, I usually do the Cabernet Sauvignon. The drier, the better. It has less sugar content. And of course, nothing of this. <laughs> no desserts. All right, so here is the steak avocado salad. It has red onion, cheese, boiled eggs, avocado, tomatoes, more cheese. And then I have some ranch and balsamic on the side. This isn't extremely keto friendly, but I like to put a little bit of it just to taste the tanginess. And I usually just use the ranch. And there's Caesar with his, <laughs> his uh, Thousand Island. That's one of the things he won't negotiate on because he loves that on his salads. So yes, it is hard to make good decisions at a restaurant, especially when you're faced with so many delicious options that you used to eat on the regular. But it can be done. There are keto options everywhere. There's definitely, it's not calorie free and it is not carb free, but there are better choices that you can make. So I remember before I became keto, my husband would always ask, where do you want to go eat? And my response was always, I don't care. Because I, I, I didn't care. I could eat anything at that time. And now when we're in a big group of people and somebody asks, where do you want to go eat? I'm not so passive about it because if I don't speak up and we end up at a place that serves nothing but fried food, then I don't really have a lot of options to choose from. So I am able now to suggest places that I know I can have a keto-friendly meal at. So I would normally suggest steak houses or wing places or places that I know have a larger menu that will have salads or a bunch of different options for me to choose from. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you've not subscribed already, make sure to do that now. Hit that notification bell so you find out when all the videos are getting posted. Leave me a comment. Do you find it hard to stay on track when you're out to eat? What are some of the biggest obstacles that you run into in trying to stay on plan when you're out at a restaurant? I'd love to hear about it. Post it in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.